Welcome to my SUV comparison. Left to right, 2015 ML350, 2016 GLE350 SUV, 2016 GLE450 AMG Sport Model Coupe. So, differences that are easy to spot on the front of the car. You can see that the 15 ML has a three slat grille, a pointed in the middle headlight, and a smaller air intake at the bottom, whereas the GLE SUV has a two slat grille, a more rounded headlight at the center, and a larger air intake at the bottom. And then the coupe, being an AMG style, has a one lamella grille, uh, and a larger air intake all the way across the bottom. Okay, grills. If you walk around to the sides of the vehicle, it's very obvious which one's an SUV and which one is a coupe. If you look at the tail end of the vehicle, and this is a coupe in the CLS style of coupe, four-door coupe, with the styling of a coupe and the convenience of two extra doors. If we look at the insides of the vehicles, can see the 2015 ML has our traditional four spoke steering wheel and the integrated screen in the center. Otherwise a traditional five seater SUV. If you look into, sorry for the spinning, the GLE SUV, you can see the larger screen and the three spoke steering wheel. But again, the traditional five seater SUV. We walk over here to the coupe. You can see the interior. It's very similar to the GLE SUV, a few sportier accents, five seater, but a little less traditional on the rear end. And then from the back, if we compare the 15 ML to the 16 GLE SUV, notice the taillight difference. The white portion is higher on the 15, lower on the 16. And then the exposed exhaust became standard again on the 16 GLE. It had been eliminated on the ML. And then transferring over to the coupe, you can see the biggest difference there, of course, in its coupe style lines, narrower tail lamps, and sloped rear end. So that is the difference from right to left, 2015 ML 350, 2016 GLE 350 SUV, and on the left, the 2016 GLE 450 AMG Sport Model Coupe. There you go. I'm Jesse Cannon-Wallace with Atlanta Classic Cars Mercedes-Benz.